This is from uh, Jake Burns from the Orange and Brown Report. Take a look at this one. This is interesting. Browns run game in week 10. Under center, 12 carries, 31 yards, 2.6 yards per carry. Shotgun, 24 carries, 147 yards, 6.1 uh, yards per carry. This goes back to, um, and again, that's without your that's without your first, second, and third tackles. You were on your fourth and fifth tackles. Um, I, it goes back to Kevin Svansky finding a a scheme that works with Bill Callahan to run the football. Well, I think it's also more importantly about finding out what works best with Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson just preferably prefers to play from the shotgun. It doesn't mean he won't play under center, but if that is what the guy is comfortable with, you've got to adapt to what you do to what he does best. And, you know, there was talks about this, and obviously we didn't get to see enough of it this year, but this was going to be something where Nick Chubb was going to have to make a change as well. Um, you know, and Nick Chubb, very talented player, obviously coveted player by the Browns. But you want all 11 pieces on offense to be working in unison. If Deshaun is more comfortable from the gun, let's find a way to make it work. Jerome Ford, obviously, from Cincinnati in college, almost everybody does gun all the time. So it's not that big of a stretch that Jerome Ford – finds, you know, being a little bit more comfortable running from the shotgun formation. Um, I, I don't think that's going to be the base. Um, you know, is it something they're going to play more often than not? Most likely. And the other thing is, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But it's just finding a way where you can get everybody on the field and hopefully try to say, all right, well, he does this well. He does this well. Okay, well, that works. You know what? He doesn't do this. All right, well, we can do that. But that's when he's going to get a blow. You know, like the Elijah Moore stuff that they were trying to do early in the year. Elijah Moore's touchdown reception. Everybody had so many issues with Elijah Moore out of the backfield because it wasn't getting anything done, let's all be honest. But Elijah Moore's touchdown yesterday, Elijah Moore was lined up in the backfield and just kind of scuttered off to the flat, saw that there was nobody behind him and just kind of stepped a little more separation, separation. They came up on Deshaun because they thought he might run. Boom, touchdown to Elijah Moore. Uh, it's still a work in progress on the offensive side of the ball, and some of that has to be, you know, of the belief that, you know, Deshaun, of course, missing time during the season. There are certain things you're going to do with P.J. Walker and DTR that you're not even going to, uh, you know, you're going to keep it simple. You're not going to try a lot of the stuff that you're going to do with Deshaun with them. You want to do what's easiest for them. But the Browns now, and this could be an advantage for them, is because, you know, now they are starting to roll out different guys with Deshaun that weren't supposed to originally be the game plan, you know, over the spring, over the summer. Obviously, Cedric Tillman is getting more time. Donovan Peoples-Jones is gone. Unfortunately, Nick Chubb isn't part of the fold. Kareem Hunt, when they do go from under center, that's usually the carries that Kareem Hunt gets. So they're finding a way to get him in there. And he obviously comes in with a battering ram running style. So this could be something that could be advantageous for the Browns over the next couple of weeks because there's still stuff they would like to implement. And obviously, Deshaun, the limited availability between weeks four and I guess week nine, uh, I'm sorry, week eight, obviously, really, really hindered that. And now they can start to up that out, up it again. Plus, with Deshaun playing so well, you want to put more on his plate. You want to keep him stimulated.